Airport is an essential item in the growth of any city. We are very fortunate in Fort Smith in having an airport that has most all of the elements of aviation, military, scheduled air carriers, corporate aviation, and general aviation that serves the for pleasure pilot. And we have good services for every one of these people. And when industry is looking at a, a city, considering moving there, one of the first things they want to know about transportation facilities, particularly in terms of aviation. Fort Smith is the largest industrial city in the state of Arkansas. If you live in Fort Smith, you can be from your home parked in, in the airport itself in 20 to 30 minutes. Easy. So the fact that it contributes to more jobs, uh, has a positive impact upon, uh, on the economy, that has a direct and indirect benefit for the ordinary citizen in, in Fort Smith. We've got one of the more stunning facilities for an airport our size. Uh, in the nation. You know, I've heard it called the, the gateway, uh, I've heard it called the doorway. In some ways, it, it's maybe the living room of the community. I think what we've achieved with the departure lounge amenities, with the, the wingback chairs and uh, in, inviting accommodations, creates a, a, a comfortable feeling within the airport that, that hands down is, is uh, hard to replicate in many other airports. We are very active in community development in Fort Smith, and community development also means economic development. We're really trying to link the two. We're trying to create what we call a quality of place in Fort Smith, that we're a good place to do business, we're a good place to invest, we're a good place to live. And by showing the, um, our, our very first impression for those people that are going to be making those decisions, and the fact is that they're going to be coming in for, through commercial aviation. This is going to be the first place that they visit, or through general aviation, uh, through corporate uh, planes. Having a functional, vibrant airport is very important. It shows um, not only that the airport is a, a functional, vibrant uh, entity for this community, but it also shows that the community is functional and vibrant. So it's a good reflection of the overall community. Whenever we're dealing with people, say an economic development prospect, they may be visiting eight cities in two days. And so we've got just so long to make a first impression. And part of that first impression is the airport. It's, it's, a, it's a good welcome mat to the community. They're not going to drive here from California to look at sites. They've got to be able to fly here. And uh, we're bringing in people from, from really actually all around the world because we've actually had prospects come in from Japan. Occasionally I'll hear people say that they, they went up the hill and, and utilized the airport in Northwest Arkansas and they say, well, I saved a hundred bucks. And what I'll tell them is, okay, you, you drove up there an hour and a half, drove down an hour and a half, what's your, what's your time worth? I mean, I can make it from my office to the airport in 15 minutes and, and the convenience you can't beat. And it's, it's an easy airport, it's very well maintained, we've got the best bathrooms in the country. And so, uh, um, you know, more people need to utilize the local facility and, and not head out to Tulsa or, or wherever else. If you book 30 days in advance, our fares are the same and sometimes lower than the major airports. Here in Fort Smith, we have uh, good airline service through, uh, through mainline carriers uh, that fly into, um, into some of the largest hubs in the world. And uh, while getting to that hub may not be your final destination, you will find a flight through that hub that will get you where you want to go. So most of the times you can get to anywhere you want to go uh, with just one stop out of Fort Smith. And that's important to remember. Any place else you fly out of in this area within two to three hour drive, you're still going to make one stop. And likely it's through that same hub. And you'll, you'll likely meet some Fort Smith people in that, at that hub who had the convenience of being able to sleep in later before they took their trip and are going to have the convenience of being able to get right back home and a, at a very good hour as compared to what, uh, what you would encounter if you drove some hours away. The mission of the 188th Fighter Wing is twofold. We have a federal mission and that we fly F-16s in any kind of combat situation or any kind of uh, uh, situation that the President or the Secretary of Defense orders. And our second mission is a uh, state mission where we provide up to a thousand guardsmen to do uh, state duty at the direction of the Governor of the State of Arkansas. A, a person coming to Fort Smith to spend money in Fort Smith, to provide jobs in Fort Smith, he's going to see us first. And we want to put our best foot forward. Pro Pilot Magazine has a uh, survey every year of the best FBOs in America. TAC Air was voted number one FBO chain in America. And 
and uh, something we're very proud of and we hope Fort Smith is too. We train both private and commercial pilots. The private industry in this area, people think that, that flying is just for rich people and that is not the case at all. So I have common laborers in here working, anywhere from the ages of 17 to 73. There, it's a broad spectrum of people that, that learn to fly. Uh, we do this not only for the general public but for the U.S. Air Force also. We employ uh, right now 30 controllers, four supervisors, uh, two staff, a secretary and myself on the air traffic side for a total of 38 people. Um, air technical operations or tech ops uh, is the FAA people that take care of our equipment, our nav aids and communications equipment, radar systems and so forth. They, uh, they employ 11 people in this building, so about 49 people total employed. Our annual payroll for, for air traffic is uh, approximately $5.1 million. We provide air traffic services uh, to not only Fort Smith, but to 22 other airports in the River Valley plus Northwest Arkansas. We have the second longest runway in the state of Arkansas, I believe, at 8,000 feet. This provides opportunity for uh, Boeing 747, C5s, pretty much any, any aircraft flies today can, can use our, our runway. Most people see the airport as a way to get from point A to point B, but what they don't realize is that the airport is actually responsible for transporting the economic future of Fort Smith. The guy who takes one airplane flight a year is important. The guy who has weekly flights is important too. But uh, it's certainly true, you use it or lose it. And uh, it's not a magic thing that the airport can do to bring industry here except to be here and give good service.